Hell yes, indeed. Anyways, welcome back, true believers, and all you PlayStation players out there to a very exciting PlayStation 5 related video. So, even though up to this point, Sony has been relatively quiet regarding that of the PlayStation 5 console and the games that we can't expect to play on it, the primary update that they decided to release today has certainly turned the tides in more ways than one. Because given their previous statements, the only main piece of information that we do have about the PS5 is that it is still still officially set to release worldwide within holiday of 2020. And while we may have received some small bits of info sprinkled throughout the past few months with that of the DualSense controller as well as the entire specs revealed for the console itself, and even fairly recently with a complete Unreal Engine 5 demo showcase of what a PlayStation 5 game could look like in full development, the overall console reveal that Sony is apparently going to hold has been fairly quiet. Until today, that is. Because as as you saw at the very beginning of this video, Sony did officially release a small promo clip indicating that we will be able to receive an entire deep dive of the PS5 on June 4th. And given a couple articles that were posted by both the official PlayStation blog website as well as IGN directly, it does give us a bit more context as to knowing what exactly we can officially expect to appear during this event. And just based off these two articles alone potentially indicating on what we can possibly expect to appear during during this event, all I'll say is that I think we are in for a real treat. Now, coming directly from the current president and CEO of Sony Interactive Entertainment himself, of Jim Ryan, he did go on to state with the PlayStation blog, with each generation, from the first PlayStation to PlayStation 4, we aim higher and we push the boundaries further to try and deliver better experiences for our community. This has been the mission of the PlayStation brand for more than 25 years, a mission I have been a part of nearly since the beginning. There are few things as exciting as the launch of a new console. While this road to launch has been a bit different, we are as thrilled as ever to bring you with us on this journey to redefine the future of video games. We've shared technical specifications and shown you the new DualSense wireless controller. But what is a launch without games? That's why I'm excited to share that we will soon give you a first look at the games you'll be playing after PlayStation 5 launches this holiday. The games coming to PS5 represent the best in the industry from innovative studios that span the globe. Studios, both larger and smaller, those newer and those more established, have all been hard at work developing games that will showcase the potential of the hardware. This digital showcase will run a bit more than an hour, and for the first time, we will all be together virtually experiencing the excitement together. A lack of physical events has given us an amazing opportunity to think differently and bring you on this journey with us, and hopefully closer than ever before. This is part of our series of PS5 updates, and rest assured, after next week's showcase, we will still have much to share with you. Please join us on Twitch or YouTube on June 4th at the times provided to see what's in store for the next generation of games. I hope we can make you proud. So not only is there going to be a plethora of AAA PlayStation 5 games to be revealed during this event, but apparently this is the first of their major lineup of updates that they will be providing down the line. And yes, to clarify once again, we will not only receive an actual event showcasing the PlayStation 5 in full, but primarily the video games that we will be able to play on the console directly. And to make matters even more exciting as to what type of games we could potentially see be showcased there, we do have a couple of tweets from some Insomniac Games developers indicating that they might in fact have a presence during this event. So first off, we do have a very simplistic tweet coming from one of the creative directors over at Insomniac Games of Brian Horton, where he did quote the PlayStation tweet in full and simply stated, who is excited. And to follow that up, we do have another tweet from a former Insomniac Games developer and lead designer of James Cooper, who then replied to Brian by saying, oh, I'm very excited with a wink face emoji. Now believe me, I know what you're all thinking, does this potentially mean that we could receive Spider-Man PS5 pop up or potentially be announced during this event? And to be quite frank, even though there's nothing more I would love to see during this event than an official trailer reveal of Marvel's Spider-Man 2 exclusive to PS5, I don't know if we're going to actually receive the game in action just yet. For starters, we do know that the next major AAA Marvel game of Marvel's Avengers, 
still hasn't even released yet. And we also know that we're going to receive an entire live stream of that game in action on June 24th. So even if by some chance Spider-Man PS5 is revealed during this event, I don't understand why Marvel would do that considering how that would take all the attention away from Avengers and immediately put it back on Spidey. But on the flip side, Spider-Man PS4 was in fact a system seller for the PlayStation brand as a whole and is one of the fastest selling video games within the first party Sony game lineup. And on top of that, it is officially confirmed by several sites that Marvel's Spider-Man is indeed the highest selling superhero game of all time. And seeing how Insomniac themselves teased at a sequel by the very end of the original game, it would only make sense if PlayStation were to reveal the sequel sooner rather than later. So if anything, while we may not actually receive a trailer of Spider-Man PS5 in action, the very least thing that I could imagine happening is them just simply stating that they are working on the game's sequel. Or even more so, if Spider-Man isn't involved within this presentation whatsoever, I could also see Insomniac Games themselves appearing during this event and simply announcing either a brand new IP exclusive to the PS5 or also a brand new Ratchet and Clank game which would also be exclusive to the PS5. Because if you forgot, Insomniac Games are now officially owned by Sony Interactive Entertainment and are part of their Worldwide Studios lineup. Meaning that any game that they end up developing in the future will be fully exclusive to PlayStation no matter what. And this factor doesn't just relate to Spider-Man but also every other game that they end up developing down the line. But given the teasing provided from both Brian and James's tweets, I do think that there is a fair chance that Insomniac Games will appear during this event in some way. And I for one just can't wait to see what it turns out to be. But what's even more exciting than this news itself is that Jim Ryan continued his pursuits about the PS5 and indicated that they are in fact not interested in making PS4 versions of PS5 games. So we already knew before given the previous announcement of PlayStation Studios that Sony is well aware of how important their first party exclusive titles are to their brand. And seeing how we're all expecting Spider-Man's sequel to eventually become a PlayStation 5 exclusive as well as the other sequels for the highly popular PS4 games of God of War, Horizon Zero Dawn, and a plethora of other games, Jim Ryan decided to elaborate exactly what their plans are going forward with the next generation. So coming from IGN this time around, they go on to state within an article, PlayStation CEO Jim Ryan is uninterested in making PS5 games run on PS4 hardware, stating that developers working on next generation games should make the most of the new console's advanced features. Talking to Games Industry, Ryan said, we believe that when you go to all the trouble of creating a next gen console, that it should include features and benefits that the previous generation does not include, and that, in our view, people should make games that can make the most of these features. The PS5 features a variety of new tech that is bespoke to the console, such as a controller that provides haptic feedback to simulate surfaces, and an SSD that offers a hundred times higher data transfer speeds, allowing for game data to be allocated in different ways compared to traditional mechanical hard drives. Simply put, these things can't be translated to the PS4 hardware because the older console is not capable of doing so. It appears Ryan would much rather developers take full advantage of the new technology instead of worrying about cross-generation support. We do believe in generations, and whether it's the DualSense controller, whether it's the 3D audio, whether it's the multiple ways that the SSD can be used, we are thinking that it is time to give the PlayStation community something new, something different that can really only be enjoyed on PS5. And as a comparison, this approach is different from that being employed by Microsoft. The plan over there is for Xbox Series X games to also work on the older Xbox One hardware, albeit running at lower quality. The approach there means developers must consider the limitations of older technology while developing for what is technically the most powerful of the two next generation consoles. And given Jim Ryan's statements, I definitely think that he is leading PlayStation's future in the right direction. Essentially what he's saying is that we will in fact be receiving some of the most high quality exclusives to come directly from the PlayStation brand and that Sony is fully utilizing all their developers to work exclusively on the PS5 and to not worry about the previous hardware. Meaning that the games that we will be able to expect down the line in the future will be some of the most mind-blowing experiences that we can expect on this platform. This is one of the main reasons why games like 
Death Stranding, Ghost of Tsushima, and The Last of Us Part 2 look so incredibly vivid and surreal due to the hardware that all the developers are using currently on the PS4. So seeing that the PlayStation Worldwide Studios line up like that of Insomniac Games, Sony Santa Monica, Sucker Punch, Naughty Dog, and everyone else involved in that current studio lineup will be able to utilize the PlayStation 5 hardware to its max potential abilities is just going to be an absolutely phenomenal benchmark within the world of next generation video games. And simply based on the Unreal Engine 5 demo that we received just a couple weeks ago, I can only imagine what fully developed PS5 exclusive games are going to look like in the future. And with all that said everyone, that's the video I have for you today and please let me know all your thoughts in the comments section down below. What do you think of this incredibly exciting PlayStation 5 news and which games would you want to see be revealed the most during this event? Without a doubt, I would obviously love to see Marvel's Spider-Man 2 be officially revealed during this event, but if anything else, I'm actually personally interested to see what Blue Point Games is up to with their teased new IP. Considering how they worked on the previous remasters slash remakes of the Uncharted series as well as Shadow of the Colossus, which is one of my personal favorite games of all time, I'm very intrigued to see exactly what they're working on if they do end up revealing their game during this presentation. But I guess we'll just have to wait and see until June 4th to find out for ourselves. But until that time comes, thank you all so much for watching everyone, stay awesome PlayStation players, and peace out. <laughs>